Hi, I'm going to show you how you can access the flow feature in Engage. First, you want to make sure you have the Engage tab selected. And then here under the flow button, we're going to select the drop down and click start presentation. So what flow does is it lets you add motion and zoom to your presentations by selecting a canvas slide like this one and then zooming into different shapes on the slide and then revealing different slides. So let me show you. Let's click the right arrow. We're going to zoom into this elements section. Then we're going to reveal the element slide. I'm going to click the right arrow again. Now we're going to go back to the canvas slide. And if I click that arrow again, I'm going to zoom into the infographic section and reveal the infographic slide. So to escape out of this flow presentation, what I can do is I can click the escape button. And let's go ahead and show you the mechanics of how we did this, how we set this up. So let's go and click on the flow button. And you can see here there's a series of different steps. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and remove the steps just to show you how easy uh, this is. And I'm going to click on this canvas slide. So if I click on that link, you can see the first step really is to select the canvas slide. So in this case, we've already selected it. It was slide 10. I'm going to click next. And now we're going to add a series of steps. These are the steps for the presentation path where you saw it zoom in and out and reveal different slides. So let's go ahead and click add step and we're going to select the shape where we want it to zoom in. So we've done that. And then after that, we're going to add a slide. This is the slide that we want the user to see and we want engage to reveal. So let's go ahead and select slide four because that's the element slide. Once you've done that, you can click add slide. And then the next step, the next time the user clicks the right arrow key, what we're going to do is we want to show the canvas. We want it to zoom back out to the canvas. So I'm going to click add show canvas and then I'm going to add another step. This time I'm going to go down and select this infographics box here. I'm going to click use selected shape to add step and then I'm going to click add slide and the slide I'm going to reveal here is the infographic slide, which is slide five. This is the one. So I'm going to click add slide. I'm going to click add show canvas because I want to go back and show the canvas. I don't have to do this. I can go straight from that infographics text box to another text box. If I want, I can do that. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click add step. The final step here will be the next step slide. So this is the next step square. This is what I'm going to, the shape I'm going to link up to. And then once I do this, I'll click add slide. And in this case, the next step, step slide is slide 12. So I'm going to click add slide and now we have our presentation. So I can click start presentation just to test the actual order of this flow presentation. So I'm going to click the right arrow button. I'm going to zoom into elements. We should see the element slide reveal. Then if I click the right arrow, I zoom back out to the canvas slide. If I click the right arrow button again, I zoom into infographics. The infographic slide reveals itself. I zoom back out to canvas slide and then the final step will be the next step slides. And there we go. We have next steps. So once I'm done, I can click the escape button and I can close this dialogue window. And that's how you can create a flow presentation with motion and zoom using engage. Thank you.